Hi everybody, my name is JD, and today I'm going to be playing Civilization VI. Now, it's my first time playing Civilization in quite some time, so uh, bear with me. And uh, plus, this is my first Let's Play, so, uh, you know, just uh, let me know down in the comments uh, whether you like this series or not. Tell me, give me some suggestions of what you want to see me play. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and we're going to dive in, create a new game. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and be Teddy Roosevelt, because why not? Um, go ahead, we'll do standard speed, uh, we'll do regular map type, and I know the maps on this can be, can tend, can tend to be small, so, uh, like this says it's mapped for six players, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and... We'll go large. We'll do a large map. And, uh, let's get to it. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. And so it is upon your broad shoulders, Theodore Roosevelt, to charge forth and lead your people on their great adventure. Use your military might to give the peoples of your homeland the square deal they so desperately deserve. Surely, you will raise America into the limelight and attract visitors from across the oceans just to see your lands. Bully for you, Mr. President. So, for those of you who don't know, the narrator for this game is Sean Bean. Uh, if you watch Game of Thrones, he is Ned Stark. Um, and it's kind of funny because he dies in almost every role he's ever played. So, uh, yeah, But overall, I think he does a very good job at narrating this game. Okay, so before we start, uh, so I picked Teddy Roosevelt and his uh, specialties, I guess. Um, so, all units receive a plus 5 combat strength on their home continent, and we get a plus 1 appeal to all tiles in a city within a national park. And then our special unit is uh, the Rough Riders, uh, the P-51 Mustangs are our unique air unit, and then we have the Film Studio, which I'm guessing is, uh, it says a unique building. But, uh, yep. So, let's get it. Okay, so, uh... We're just going to go ahead and we're going to settle right here. We got some mercury. Cool. We got mercury, citrus, stone, wheat, and more wheat. So we're going to... We're going to move these guys down here. Oh, cool. Alright. Um, production to event. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a scout. Research. We will do... So we have a lot more... Irrigation... Oh, let's go ahead and open up the technology tree. Um... Okay, so irrigation... Army resource... Clearing of marsh... Okay, what do we need for that? We need pottery... Okay, and we can harvest uh, wheat and rice, which we have a lot of that around us, so... Let's go ahead and learn that. And next, I think, since we haven't had any uh, cattle, sheep, or horses, we'll go ahead and we'll do mining next, just because uh, we have this stone right Oh, well, there's that cattle. Uh, I guess we'll decide whenever that comes around. Oh. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna... It would seem we have finally tracked the barbarian raiders plaguing these lands to their source. We must destroy the stronghold or risk future attacks. Okay. It is best to use caution when moving close to enemy units. Doing so will often force the unit to be in the enemy's zone of control, restricting its movement. All right. Uh, whenever something pops up on the screen or there's narration or voiceover, uh, I'll probably let it go through unless it's uh, 
unless it's just back to back to back, and then I'll probably skip through some of them. But uh, I just I just think the narrating is really good in this game, so I'll probably I'll probably let it play through most of the time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fortify, and we'll go next turn. Okay, they moved away. Okay, now we can move them. Um. Be a stalemate. Good, move in here. Except, yeah, we get. I think we get a bonus from being in the, in the trees, if I remember right. Okay, so they're running back. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, this map's. Oh, I guess it's not that big. But uh, it'll make do. Ooh. Okay, so we have a minor defeat. Why? I don't know, they're fortified defenses. Hmm. Well. Hmm. What to do, what to do. We'll go ahead and um, we'll fortify just in case they try to attack us. We'll let, we have six turns left until our pottery. They walked away. We have four turns unless, uh, until our Scout's done training. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of people complain about the art style for this game, and me personally, I, I really enjoy it. I like, yeah, I know it's kind of cartoonish, but I think that's kind of what draws me to it. Uh, that's just me. But I do like the, it's the Fog of War. It's It makes it look like an old map and I really really like that. I think that that makes it all the much more fun to play I suppose. We have discovered a city state. Hmm. Establishing diplomatic relations with them will surely be beneficial for our empire. Perhaps we should send them an envoy. Okay. There are several different types of city states. And each may provide different benefits in return for our friendship. Our government, over time, will allow us to earn envoys to grow these relationships. Alright. Oh, well, where's it at? Oh. Nan Madol. Madol. Um. Let's see. Okay, so we send it one envoy. Plus two culture to the capital. Uh, three envoys get plus two culture to every theater district. Uh, six envoys, an additional plus two culture in every theater district. And then three envoys and more than any other civilization get a unique bonus. Your districts on or next to coast tiles provide plus two culture. Okay. So we might do that. So it says we already sent them one envoy. So we're already getting a plus two culture in the capital. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's something I'm interested in. I've never won a Civ game uh, with a cultural victory. It's always been either science or a military might. And I feel like those are the two easiest. So uh, this game, I'm going to try to get a cultural victory. Don't quote me on that. Just because I know... It can get kind of hectic, and I might have to switch up to a uh, military. But uh, I'm I'm gonna try for a cultural victory in this one. So on the next turn, we have two more turns till our scouts done. Uh, our two more Dakota to laws, and then two more fire. Already, cool. our people thrive, and our population grows. All right, cool. Okay, so we grew in size. Oh, sweet! So now we have the citrus within our. Uh, Property, I guess. Just within our tiles. Reconnaissance right. units like scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead. So that's plus two culture. That's eleven turns. Um. So I know this one's recommended, and I know it's going to give us the culture. 
but I'm thinking... Well, we don't have irrigation yet, so we're going to have to wait on that. And these are out of our reach, so yeah, for now, I'll just go ahead and start running the line. Okay, we have the scout. Let's go... Let's go see what's up by... Our Ooh. explorers have spotted another friendly tribal village. Oh, cool. I suggest we send a scout to investigate. investigate. Where's that? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I hope they don't go for it. Well, let's see what these guys can do. Can I... Still a minor defeat. Dang it. Okay, well, we'll move them just to give them something to do. Next turn. Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Alright. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Alright, just a little quote from Aristotle right there. Um, okay, so we already have the plus five bonus just because we're playing as the United States. And I know recon units can be extremely helpful, especially whenever you get them uh, upgraded. So... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the double experience for recon units. And we only have the one city right now. So this will give us plus one faith and plus one gold, which will be good later in the game. So, yeah, then uh, this is called God King, so I feel like that'd be a pretty cool title to have. So, we're going to go with God King. Confirm. Yes. Okay. Uh, choose research. Okay, so, uh, well, we already know pottery, so now, okay, so we have, oh, no, I didn't want that, um, so that's seven turns, uh, Go ahead and do irrigation, just because we can always come back and do this, especially because it's less turns. So we'll go ahead and we'll learn irrigation for now. Choose a civic. Um, so let's see. Craftsman. So they take 40 culture. Oh. So this only takes 5 turns. No, oh, because we have it boosted. We have to improve three tiles to boost this. We have... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do foreign trade, uh, especially because these traders can give us roads and a... Let's see, what do we get? Plus two gold from all trader. That's okay, so that's more gold. And then naval units. I don't know if we'll use that. Uh, I just We haven't seen any water, like bodies of water. So I don't know how useful that will be, but we'll go ahead and we'll learn this. Oh, plus it gives us joint war, so we can establish a joint war against the target civilization. All right, cool. Uh, probably won't use this. Hopefully we won't have to, but at least we'll have it if we need to. Um, who needs orders? Okay, you need orders. I'll go ahead. Awesome. Okay, so we got 40 gold, and let's go back this way. Then you... Now, if I remember right, it said there was another... We discovered another... City? Maybe not. Maybe I was just... No, I guess not. I don't see anything. Okay, well, we're gonna... Go ahead and hop over. Oh. Alright, cool. So we've found Cleopatra, and she, I'm guessing, leads Egypt. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. Uh, 
will well met, stranger, but I'm afraid we are too busy to stay and chat. Oh no, it's an honor to meet you. Uh, we have a city nearby. Would you like to visit? I'd like to introduce you to our board game, Senate. Uh, we would love to sample your hospitality. Sorry, but not at this time. Oh no, yeah, let's play some Senate. Ooh, okay, so that triggered the Eureka. Oh. Just as our citizens have faith in your leadership, so they are beginning to have faith in a higher power. I think it is wise to cultivate this new way of thinking. Perhaps there is some benefit to be gained. Alright, cool. Um, okay, so after meeting another civilization, you see the need for new ways to communicate. I acknowledge writing has advanced considerably. Okay. Cool. Okay, so Egypt's over there. Alright. Um... So we're gonna go ahead, we'll, we'll go ahead and back up. We'll go this way. Bring that guy up there. Next to me. Let's see if she does. Oh, I guess we can't see them. Okay. What do I want you to do? Go up. Okay, so there are some of her warriors. Oh, okay, so there's another bandit camp, or, I guess, barbarian camp. Okay, so I think, I think that's some coast coastal area right there, so we might get to use some naval, if we feel like it. Uh, my diplomatic delegation brings you a small gift of papyrus, papy papyrus, oh, papyrus. I'm say, am I saying that right? Yeah, Papyrus. From the new Isis. Uh, welcome them as you would welcome me. Uh, your delegation is most welcome. Our capital is not open to visitors at this time. Goodbye. I will welcome you. Excellent. All right. See you later. Waiting. Okay, so they just made a scout. Oh, Yosemite Valley oh, to cool. me is always a sunrise. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Awesome, so we discovered a natural wonder. Yosemite. What is it? A uh, two-tile and passable natural wonder provides plus one gold and plus one science to adjacent tiles. Cool, okay. So, we also... In exploration, we have discovered a natural wonder of the world. There is no doubt that it could provide a great benefit to the one who settles the land surrounding it. Well, I intend for that to be us. Uh, discovering a natural wonder has inspired your people with the majesty of the universe. Uh, your knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, we'll probably... Um, we'll probably send up a settler this way, because we have some deer, crab, wine, that we get the bonus, the adjacency bonus from being up here. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to move this guy up here just so we can have him kind of protected. Oh, cool. Uh, fast movement on hill train through woods and rainforest. I'm going to go ahead and do this one uh, just because you can see we have a lot of forest around here. Um, oh, yeah, I just get to move from that. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Our city-state oh. neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Awesome. Okay, so what is it? Oh, love and love. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's the next one. What did they give us? They give us faith. Ben boys. Okay. Uh, we probably just don't have one. Okay. So we will move up to this one. At least that puts us away. So now we have the safety of the trees that they try to come and follow. Move you in there. Let's go to yeah. No, I I plan on taking these. So they better they better just back off. Okay, so he's we have the opportunity to develop a formal trade route between two cities. A 
trader unit is required to establish such a route, which would be very beneficial for our economy. Every nation right. lives by exchanging. Hmm, okay, so um, plus one. Four, okay, so plus two from all trade routes. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this just because we have it. Because I plan on building some uh, traders, but we're gonna go ahead and keep the double experience for now, just because we haven't settled by the coast yet. Uh, yes. Okay. So, we could actually attack him. It'd be a, it'd be a major victory. Okay. Why? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. That was actually pretty boring. <laughs> but, uh, oh, if he doesn't run away, we... Oh, well, that's us running and attacking him. Do I want to do that? Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. Oh, there's another scout over there. So there must be another barbarian camp somewhere. Oh, it's, all right. Let's choose our next civic. And civic Street. Okay. So we're actually in the lead so far. Um. Okay. So we can get craftsmanship. Mm, oh, we have mysticism. So mysticism is. Okay, what's this? Oh, the Oracle Wonder. Okay. Uh, patronage of great people costs 25% less faith. Districts in the city provide plus two great person points of their type. For example, great writer points from the theater district. Uh, this must be built on a hill. And then it gives us plus one culture and plus one faith. And these give us plus two great scientist points per turn. And this gives us plus two great profit points. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll go with this one, just because I do. I do want to try to get that cultural victory. Um, open borders. I don't think we really need that yet. Fifty percent production towards settlers and reduced. That that'll be good late later in the game. But right now, yeah, I think we'll go with mysticism. Um, next turn. I'm going to send him back this way. So, okay, so she's scouting out our place. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, so we've met Egypt, and we've seen two city-states, and... We just have to worry about these barbarians, too. Okay, well, uh, if you guys like what you saw, uh, like, subscribe, tell me what you want to see, give me some suggestions if you have games that you'd like to see me play. Uh, I try to keep these videos a little bit longer just because you, if you have short videos with these, you don't really do much because they can get, turns can take uh, around a couple minutes just to get through one turn, so I try to keep these a little bit longer so you can actually see some stuff go on, but yeah, just uh, let me know what you guys want, give me some suggestions, and uh, that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one.